Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about Dynamo. As I said, we will try make more tutorials about Dynamo. So, as you can see, I did like some some geometry here so you can create uh, your geometry, no, you no need copy that one. But anyway, you will understand the principles how I did this uh, this geometry by Dynamo. As you can see, you can even make some variants like uh, the straight one and with the some angle, we can make some uh, change the angle of this uh, shape or even the numbers of this thing so I will teach you how you can create it in this tutorial you will understand the principles after this whole tutorial so let's get started so as always I'm doing mm, just open your Revit mm, as you can see scratch one that I doesn't have anything here and we will go straight away to the uh, architect template or we will go here under the file and we will find new and we will create the conceptual mess so we will do this ma this model in conceptual mess because so actually this is concept that's why uh, so let's open the conceptual mess here we are and we will go the straight away to the dynamo because all the works what we will do today we will work only in dynamo so dynamo you will find under the manage after that on the ribbon menu you will find dynamo here it uh, actually doesn't matter which version of Dynamo you are using uh, because uh, actually I'm using right now here I will check if it's for you guys I think 1.3 yep so you can use 1.3 or even lower because uh, it's only will be here the vanilla notes so I mean uh, without any packages so let's go to the new and as you can see here is our scratch Dynamo we don't have anything here and we will start here to create something interesting and first note what I need I mean the notes this all these things I need points by coordinates so let's write point by coordinates so let's find it so I think this one point by coordinates XYZ so this is what I want uh, and as you understand we need point X we need Z and uh, uh, Y and Z I mean so what we're gonna do uh, I will use for that sliders so let's write the slider so we get our slider one and uh, we will change immediately step to the one so when we will changing step to the one when you change your slider as you can see we changing it by one step so the school uh, let's copy it one more time and let's connect it straight away first the slider to the x and as you can see here is our point our first point so this is cool so we're doing everything right so what we're gonna do next next i need the y but uh we will leave it on the later on so i will do like this and um, this is same position of, of course because this is zero and if you will change here you can see your point now going to the change posi position on the coordinate system so this is cool and we need one more point this is a uh, z1 so let's make the z1 and if you will do it here you can see we can change it on the z position so let's do the magic actually i don't want to create like uh, hundreds of these uh, nodes to create different points here i want to get like uh, for example some of the points uh, maybe 10 maybe more on the z position so how i can do that just double click on the left uh, left button mouse you will get the code block let's write uh, i need the zero from the zero it means after that double dot uh, X position again double dots and the sharp and let's write the name numbers so we get the code like this so X it's our first number so let's uncheck here and N numbers how many numbers we want it this is second one numbers so let's connect it here as you can see nothing changed just only the some wrongs and if you will do like this you can see we get the magic as i said right so what we're gonna do now now we should change something more uh we need to uh, make it uh, more useful because now uh, i cannot uh, cannot make some changes right so let's create now uh let's change i mean now uh, y position 
So what this means? Uh, now our Y is going to only straight one, but I want to make, for example, the curve thing like sinus or tangent. Tangent. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We need the math. So let's go to the math, math and math. Then, as you can see, we find here tangents. It's here. Uh, we should use tangent two. Where is our A tangent? So it's here. And now we will connect this slider. Uh, no, uh, I think we will connect this one uh, to here and now we need uh, a denominator so we need again one more slider and we will make some changes with this slider now. Let's go here inside and let's make the step 0, 1 and the maximum value only 10. So what does it mean? When we will change, it will be changed like you can see here um, on 0, 1 step. So let's leave it like that. Uh, what after that we need? I will uh, check what we get here. Okay, okay. actually this is a, a little bit uh, bigger number what I need. I need divided by 10. So how we can that do that? Just x by divide 10. So it means x, this is our angle, divide by 10. So let's see what we get here. And as you can see, we divided by 10 and this is what I want. Uh, after that, I need to make some values. So it means uh, we have the zero position when all our dots straight and we now have the when it's our dot curve. But how we can uh, switch between two of the uh, two of this system? Actually, it's really easy. We need if statement. So here is our logic if statement. Uh, let's connect mm, to the true this one to the false that one and now we need boolean operation so let's write the bool so here is our boolean let's put it here so it means if uh, we are switch to the false i will show you now if we switch to the false false this is one this one uh, numbers as you can see we get these numbers if i will switch to the true all numbers null, uh, zero, because uh, all number is going from the slider. Uh, I will show you one more time. If I will say 41 here, everything 41 here. So, and now we should connect this result to the Y. Let's connect. And as you can see now, everything straight. But if I will make this false, not everything straight. As you can see, we get some curve. So let's say we'll rotate it. Yeah, we get some curve, as you can see. So let's make the more. Oh, yeah, something wrong with Dynamo. It uh, happens sometimes. As you can see, if I increase uh, the numbers of the dots, I mean the space between dots, uh, you can see now our curve. We can actually increase our numbers of the dots. And if it's true, everything, everything is straight. So we did our first. Uh, complete actually uh, part of this program so let's continue as you can see uh, when you doing the when you're working with dynamo and uh, trying to create some shape it's uh, really hard and in the same time when you want making some changes it's really easy because you're changing some of the numbers and it makes your life much easy uh, so we are not finished actually we get only the dots now we need to create uh, some uh, some geometry and let's create the geometry so after that uh, when we get our point i want to make the curve uh, i need the curve nurbs uh, nurbs by point i think this one let's try yeah this one let's connect and as you can see we get our our first line so this is already the object in revit so it's not nothing it's, just, it's a real object so after that i need to uh, create a curve plane at parameter at parameter this one and let's connect that one as you can see we get our plane why i'm doing that because i want to uh, rotate my mm, shape uh, to the same position as my curve going the for example on my coordinates that's why i'm using the curve at plane so it's automatically rotated because if i will use the for example uh, cycle uh, it will be um, straight so that's why i'm using that one 
So I need the code block. Let, let's write from the zero, double, a double dot, one, double dot, sharp, and n. So numbers it's mean. And I need number, let's say 10. So let's connect them. Let's connect this to the parameter. And as you can see, we get all these things. So uh, about the dots, we don't need it now. So right click and preview off. So we get our own uh, planes now. So you can increase the numbers of the planes if you want, of course. Let's say you want um, 20. So you can make the 20. But right now I need only 10. So it's here we are. So uh, now we need a uh, list deconstruct because I don't want to change the first position of that list deconstruct. Okay, and as you can see, here is my first dot, here the rest of dots. It's automatically, as you can see, here the first, and this is all other ones. So after that, I already can create my uh, cycles. So let's create it. Oh, sorry. Just right click and let's write cycle. Cycle uh, by plane. By plane. Where is it? Uh, by plane. Plane radius. Yes, this one. Let's connect the rest of them to the plane. And as you, as, as you can see, now I get my all the cycles here. And now I need one more code block. Let's write like, let's say, from the four. It's the radius. Uh, numbers of 15 and uh, step 0. 0.1, let's say, or no, let's say 0 0.2. And let's connect to the radius. So now if I will change uh, the step, you can see the radius is changing too. Actually, we can make uh, this thing uh, variable too. For example, like this sharp n. And now just let's make the slider here. Like this. And let's connect the slider to that, that position. And here the step one. And let's say to the... Um, let's say to the one. Let's do like this. And let's change it now. No, it's not will be work like this. Let's make to the 10. Yeah, it's working. So you can make the variable if you want. But I will leave without that one with the static number 0, 2. So let's do like this. As you can see, we're already under the finish. So we have our curves, we have uh, our line. Mm, by the way, we can uh, hide our line if you want, of course. Let's raise our line here and let's may unswitch the preview. So only the curve. Uh, so what we're going to do now, now we need to create our shape to the our geometry in Revit. So we want to change it in Revit because if we will go to the Revit now, first, this is so small, I think. Where is the Marvel model? I cannot see. Even I cannot see because this is so small. Let's say I'll change to the manual. And yeah, I think this is so small. Let's try to find. As you can see, this is so small, but it's not problem. We will change it later on. So let's create the geometry from that, that thing. Right click again and surface. Surface. Uh, by loft. So this is one, first one, and let's connect them. Let's connect them and now again run. As you can see, we get our geometry. So after that, I need scale, geometry, scale. Everything simple, right? So geometry scale, and as you can see, we get, oh, not this one. So because we have everything, so much things in Revit. Scale, geometry. So let's find scale geometry, scale amount. Yeah, I want this one. Uh, oh no, it's coordinates. I want without the coordinates. Uh, geometry scale. Let's find it. Not this one. Why is this? Why is this? Scale factor. Oh, here. Uh, as you can see, it's really strange. So uh, scale, amount, and the name geometry scale. So surface to the geometry, and now we need amount. Amount, I know this is, oh, we now using the millimeter, so this is will be thousand. Let's make the thousand. 
let's go back here like this and here is our geometry and if you will go to the rabbit you will find here geometry too this one big one no worries about the small one because we will transfer only that that one side that one thing uh, we will go here again and let's write the import import instance instance uh, by geometry so this one and let's connect them let's run it uh, now I will minimize it and as you can see we get geometry so if you will use the tab key like this you can change for example divide to the surface let's divide it and here is our geometry you can do whatever you want so if you want to change something go back to the dynamo so where is our dynamo let's find it uh, I think this one so here is our dynamo and now we will change something for example uh, maybe mm, maybe I want to make this straight so let's run it again and as you can see this is straight now but you need to change your uh, divide by surface again anyway this is more simple then you will change your geometry in Revit by dynamo it's more useful so let's make it like this we will get more bigger let's make the the curve one we get something like that Let's make it uh, again the curve, maybe sliders minimal or the maximum. I don't know. And we get something like that. So, guys, I think that's it for this tutorial. Now you understand how to create uh, some kind of shapes. As you can see, it's not uh, so hard. Uh, it's not like evil. But uh, you need to think about all the nodes when you're creating it. Uh, anyway, I'm starting my tutorial about Dynamo more deeper and deeper, so just uh, keep in touch my video and you will know Dynamo better than me soon. So, see you next time. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.